Alright folks, uh, hopefully you can hear me here. I am in the Sony uh, private booth and obviously you can see in my hands is the PlayStation Portable Go, otherwise known as the PSP Go. And of course uh, Gran Turismo, uh, I'm guessing it's called Mobile, is currently uh, a playable game. But uh, right now I'm going to let you know how it feels. And the uh, first thing I noticed is how much uh, smaller the unit is compared to like the uh, PSP 2000 and the PSP 3000. I mean, I would say that there's a good, uh, gosh, I mean, it's got to be at least an inch, if not an inch and a half uh, worth of uh, width on, uh, well, not on both sides, but uh, it's in the overall uh, width of the device. So it's a lot uh, slimmer, at least in that regard. And the uh, same goes for the, well, I can't slide it down, unfortunately, but uh, it's also definitely a lot slimmer on the top. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if you got some uh, small hands, definitely made for you, and even bigger hands, I mean, I, I don't necessarily find the discomfort in holding the device, but my thumb can access the D-pad very well, and the analog nub is uh, in a pretty convenient location right in the middle there. I mean, obviously, we all wish that uh, there was a second one, but no, no use in uh, whining about it now. And uh, I can't use my right hand right now, obviously, but uh, as you can see, to the right of the nub is the select and start buttons, which have a, a nice tactile feel for them. There's a very uh, different uh, couple buttons there. And then obviously the uh, typical X uh, square, triangle, and circle buttons are to the right of that. And uh, they're definitely a lot closer and uh, more compact than they were in the previous versions of the PSP. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's not, not a bad little device. It's uh, very sleek, very uh, nice looking. The screen is uh, very, uh, very sizable in terms of displaying everything that it needs to. Let's see, we got, what we got up here, the wireless uh, icon, we got the PlayStation buttons. Uh, no, PlayStation home button. If you want to quit the game, obviously I don't want to right now. And then uh, you got the menu of the game. That's, let's see, single player, multiplayer, mission challenge, card dealer and trade, and whatever that two million number means, I'm not exactly sure. I believe that all these little holes right here that you can see. The uh, corners here are the speakers. Let's see here, down below, we've got uh, what looks like to be a, uh, a nub, which is probably going to be removed in the final product for your headphones. And uh, let's see, that looks like to be the uh, mini SD card slot, which will hold additional memory if it's necessary for you. I, I believe that these units launch at uh, 8 gigabytes and 16 gigabytes respectively. I believe in the press conference they only mentioned the 16 gigabyte model. It could very well be this one. So, uh, yeah, not a bad little device. I mean, initially I thought it was going to be a little bit uncomfortable considering the whole uh, sliding up mechanism, but it really isn't all that bad. I mean, I could definitely see myself uh, picking one up at some point in the near future. So, uh, if you're into the PSP Go and you've been waiting for a sort of redesign that looks like this, I mean, obviously it's not the next real iteration of the uh, portable, but uh, for now, you can definitely tell that it's a neat looking device. It's got the portability factor to it, and obviously the uh, built-in memory is going to be very helpful for people. Let's see what we've got over here. M2, oh no, 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 the M2, there we go. That's the uh, slot for the extra memory. Not entirely sure what that slot is, so I'll have to find that out from uh, someone else. And the power switch is obviously on that side. I just can't touch it for obvious reasons. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and play this game and uh, hopefully you enjoy these impressions. I'll see you later. I apologize, folks. I'm stupid. I forgot the top of the unit. You got the triggers up there with left and right. And uh, apparently the uh, display uh, brightness and the uh, volume uh, toggles have been uh, moved over here, which is actually pretty cool. I mean, it might be a little bit awkward considering you pretty much can't see them unless you actually flip the unit over to uh, you know, do your thing and everything. But uh, you know, considering all the stuff I've done here now, it's a lot more convenient to have the, uh, the real, most important buttons and then have every, you know, customization with the you know, the display, the brightness, the video, and the music uh, all up here. So, yeah, pretty nifty. So, now I'll go ahead and get playing. So, I'll see you later.